Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how the door handle works on a Volkswagen Golf Mark V. Hopefully it will be a similar mechanism on other Volkswagens. The reason I'm showing you this is because we've had a complete nightmare with this because we undone this screw too much and then this retaining ring fell out and it took quite a bit of working out how it works. Also, even just trying to get the handle off the car, it's a little bit confusing when you don't understand it. So if you watch this video before you do yours, it will make a lot more sense. But what we're gonna do is pretend this is on the car we're going to show you now how to remove the door handle when it's on the car. First things first, we need to undo this 12 turns using a T20 and holding this out like that. There we go, so that is 12 revolutions. And you can see now that that is now locked into place and the barrel comes out. Now we're gonna be removing, which isn't here, the little cord that comes through the car and clips onto here. You need to make a note of where that is. So you're just gonna be getting a little pry tool, little screwdriver, and just popping that out, and then that will go backwards into the car. Now we need to remove the handle. So what we have to do is go back that way, and then pull out, and you can see now how easy that comes out. That will now allow you to remove the door skin by undoing the screw here, which is keeping the skin onto that bit there, and then you need to undo all the other bolts around the door skin. But that's it, that's how the handle works. Hopefully now that will make a lot more sense, and let's quickly put it back. So now when you put your door skin and stuff back on, you're gonna be moving this into here like so, lining that up there, pushing it back towards the car, and now that's locked into place here. We need to put the door barrel back in, like so, put that back in, make sure it's all lined up nicely, and now we need to do this up 12 revolutions. There we go, and now that's in place, that's locked into place, and everything should work as normal. Obviously, you have to put the cord back into this bit here. It's hard to remember all the steps when it's off the door, but there's a little cord needs to go back in here, and then that will allow it all to work properly. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna completely dismantle it and then show you how it goes back together. So next time I'll start filming, this will be completely dismantled. So here we have it all in bits, and if you have a look, this is the locking mechanism here that swivels around. So I just want to show you how it works before we put the screw in it. So this part here goes into that little groove there. So we're going to put it in like so. And then when we put it down here, you can see that it moves its way around like that. And that's what the screw does. The screw goes into this little groove here. And when you undo it and tighten it up, it's rotating this around. And what it will allow is two things. It will allow this little barrel on like your driver's door, this would be an actual lock. This is just a blanking plug here. But this will go into here, and then you can see that it can't go in at the moment. But when this is rotated round, because we've unscrewed it, it will allow it to go in. Then when we screw it back up, it won't come out again because these bits are being blocked by the locking ring. Also, when it comes to this spring-loaded bit here, this will also be locked into place on this corner by the corner of this one here. So that's how it goes there. But unfortunately we can't put that in just yet. We have to put the screw in first. So we're gonna put the screw and we're gonna screw it all the way home. Okay, so I haven't done that up tight, but you can see now it's all the way over there. Now we're gonna put the locking ring in that side first. And you can see now that that drops into place perfectly and that groove is in that part there. So that's that bit done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this bit and we're gonna put the spring part in that bit first and then these two bits locate in these parts here. Now be careful with this because it can spring out and there's quite a bit of power behind it. So that's it there now, in, and we're gonna put it down there. Don't just rely on that little catch there because it's worn on this one and that will fling straight out. So now what we're gonna do is keep pressure on it there and we're gonna get the handle and we need to load that part of the handle into that bit there while loading that part into this part here. So it is quite fiddly, but put that bit in there first, like so. Get it roughly lined up, that part in here, and then push it all the way through and then into there, like so. And now that part's in here, and you can see that the handle's gone into this part here. So now we're going to undo this 12 turns, so we're going to have the handle all the way out while we're doing this. And now that's gripped onto there, so it's not going anywhere. So now we can put the 
barrel back in and now we can do this up 12 turns. And one more, 12. There we go. And now it's back together. You heard as I was doing that, that this clipped out because it's no longer gripping onto there. Hopefully now, if it's happened to you, you'll be able to understand how this locking ring works, how it goes back together. And if you watch this video before taking it apart, you'll have a better idea about how the mechanism works for taking the handle out. Because when it's hidden by the door skin, you have to take this off before the door skin comes off. And it's quite hard because you can't see the mechanism. But now when you can see it out, it makes a lot more sense. So that is how the door handle works on a Volkswagen Golf Mark V and hopefully other models as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Take care.